Are you afraid to take your kids to an art museum? Afraid they'll leave fingerprints on priceless works of art? Well, we had the same concerns when we recently sent Lucas Ross to the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. Here's this week's Look Out with Lucas. Hey, Lucas here at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. Now, typically, art exhibits are not thought of as a hands-on experience. It wasn't really gonna, it was just for the description. I, I'm not really, but let me tell you about an art exhibit that's here that is interactive. It's a puppet exhibit made by a world-renowned, award-winning artist made just for our state. In fact, this is the only place you'll be able to see it. That's all that's going on. Look at this. This weekend is also the 2013 Bonsai Show at the Will Rogers Garden Exhibition Center. Pretty cool, Mr. Miyagi. The hills go alive with the sound of music is coming to Summerstock Theater at UCO this weekend. Directed by Matthew Alvin Brown, this is going to be a production you don't want to miss. Hey, I'm here with an artist who I'm a big fan of, and it's an honor to get to talk to Mr. Wayne White. Thanks for coming to Oklahoma, and tell us about this unique exhibit that you've brought to our state. Well, this is a show called Halo Amok, and I call it a Cubist Cowboy Rodeo, and it's three giant sculptures that are also puppets. This is the bull rider, and you just okay. pull a rope. After here, where does it go? It goes nowhere. It lives only here at the Oklahoma Museum of Art. So this is the only chance yes. you have to see it. Yes, it is. It's right here. It lives here. It lives here only. Born and bred in Oklahoma. Cool. The circus has come to town, and I invite everybody to come <laughs> down to the museum and enjoy art that is actually fun. Sure does look like fun. Well, for all the information on these events, go to kfor.com slash look.